Tonight, we investigate rumors about a historic building on the Eastern Shore. Talk that the American Legion post in Fairhope will be demolished, making its way around social media. Oh, yeah. Brianna Hollis dig, uh, did some digging into this, and she found out that's not the case. So the fact here is that the property did sustain serious damage during Hurricane Sally, but the Post wants people to know there are absolutely no current conversations about tearing it down. You know, no, no one's planning to demolish this building unless it's absolutely necessary for the safety of, of our members and the public. You know, you wouldn't live in a home that was unsafe for you and your family. And we wouldn't have a, a, a building that's unsafe for our members, but there are no plans, <laughs> nor have there been any proposals. So I, I really like to just... Quash, squash those rumors. What is happening? Executives with the American Legion are reviewing contracts and insurance estimates, trying to determine the best course of action when it comes to repairs. A difficult process for those like Chad Jackson who have strong connections to the post. This building was provided for the American Legion so that veterans would have a place that they feel at home and supported. The building has been around for more than 100 years, and the post itself established in 1962. This is a picture of the American Legion's original deed for this location, a piece of history attested by the 2020 hurricane season. You know, nobody asked for Hurricane Sally, and uh, we'd have preferred it if she'd have stayed home. But members of the post holding out hope and asking for your help to help them keep going. Anyone willing to help, either financially or with contractor recommendations, can reach out to the post on its Facebook page. In Fairhope, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.